to another video if you're new here hi my name is naomi and this is real naomi b where we focus on lifestyle fashion beauty and travel and as you can already tell by the title of this video i decided to record this makeup look for you i remember what it was like as a beginner getting into makeup and not knowing what to do what products to use so without further ado let's get into the video starting out with freshly washed skin we're gonna go right in with our Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm absolutely obsessed with this primer. I'm gonna apply it to my hand first and then apply it directly to my problem areas. This is gonna allow our makeup to adhere to our skin perfectly. It will feel a little sticky, but that's okay because we intend on layering makeup over where we have our hyperpigmentation. we're gonna go in with my handy dandy fan this is gonna help the product dry down a bit faster you'll be ready for your next step once it feels a bit tacky now we're going in with our concealer this is the perfection multi-use concealer from NK New York I'm using the shade number 10 you can find this in your local beauty supply store now I'm going to blend out my concealer with a foundation brush. This method is called color correcting. It really does help with covering hyperpigmentation. Currently, my favorite setting powder is from Huda Beauty. This is the Banana Bread. I absolutely love how it creates a super smooth finish. I use it to set my concealer, whether it is around my mouth or under my eye. Remember, anything wet must be set. I like to add extra product to my smile lines. Now we're moving into brows. I like to use my spoolie to ensure that all the hairs are brushed upwards. This way I can see if there's any hairs that need to be removed. To outline and fill in my brows, I'm going to go in with my dark brown pencil from She Makeup. This can also be found in the beauty supply store. Pro tip when it comes to outlining or filling in your brows, you want to go in with very, very light strokes. I'm holding my pencil towards the end which will give me more control on how much pressure I apply to the pencil. You wanna ensure that you don't go too close to the tip of the pencil because that's gonna give you very thick, heavy strokes. You want light, even pressure to give you a nice light brow. Going back in with our Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Butterscotch, we're going to use a flat concealer brush to carve out our brow nice and slow. Take your time. I like to do one straight pass and then go back in and fill in anywhere that needs to be filled in. I really like using this concealer because it's nice and thick which gives you more control. You don't have to worry about the concealer moving. It gives you the time that you need to slowly apply the product exactly where you want it. Now I'm going to apply the same concealer to the inner and outer corner of my eye. I like to use the concealer to brighten my under eye. I want you to note that this concealer is thick and easy to use, but it does dry down pretty fast. So take your time to apply the product, but don't wait too long to blend. I'm going to blend with a fluffy eyeshadow brush because again it's all about control so by using a smaller brush it helps you to blend the product without it spreading to places where you do not want it.
time to set and again I'll be using my Huda Beauty banana bread powder and I'll be applying this under my eyes where I place the concealer with a fluffy powder brush I love how this product creates a blurring effect and really gets in and sets the concealer it really gives a beautiful finish Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Second Slice Palette is the perfect shade for fall. I'm going to use the shade Serving Looks. With an eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to saturate my brush and apply to my lid in the same spot. The key is to keep the brush in the same spot and blend, blend, blend. We're not moving. We're just packing it in slowly see how much product you have and apply more if needs be we're going for a very minimal light look so take your time apply little by little so you don't make mistakes it's super easy to add more product if you need but not so easy to take it off if you make a mistake Now that we've applied majority of the pigment to where we want it, in a windshield wiper movement, we are going to swipe the product in our crease. There is no additional product to the brush. We're just pushing what we have on our lid to our crease and blending it out as we go. It is beautiful and super easy. Look at the difference from one eye to the next. Now on our paper towel, we're going to remove the excess product from our brush. Once that's cleaned off, we're gonna go in with the brush and blend the edges of our eyeshadow. Just beneath our concealer and above your eyeshadow, you're gonna blend that product. We wanna create a very even and smooth transition from our eyeshadow into our concealer. This is what is gonna make your makeup look so effortless and professional looking you're gonna look like you know how to apply eyeshadow just by this step with either a clean brush or using the same brush removing the excess product but then going back in and softening any harsh lines creating a beautiful transition We only use one pigment from that palette, but yet we have this beautiful, smoky look. Grabbing our Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation from Fenty in the color 450. I'm gonna go in and apply this all over the face, everywhere where I did not apply product before. I love this powder foundation. I love the coverage and how it gives your face a filter-like finish. This is my no foundation makeup routine I normally do this on days like this where I'm just getting ready to create content but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see my full face makeup routine now we're gonna create some definition with milk and mommy from Fenty I love this bronzer I go in to chisel my cheeks just under my cheekbones and around my face just to create some definition and just to bring some warmth back to my face this is the perfect bronzer for dark skin i love 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 it for highlighter i'm going in with my kilowatt from fenty with a small brush i'm going to apply that directly to, to the tip and down the bridge of my nose blending that out with my fingers just to create some definition i love this highlighter applying it to my cheeks and just above my brow now we're going to go in and line my lips with a dark brown pencil from the beauty supply store i love a defined cupid's bow on dark skin, you can wear any color lipstick, lip gloss once you line your lips. Do not skip this step.
own damn business. So them take set. Hold me blessed. If I know me, I got alone. Can't stop this. This girl stop. Watch me. You're too upset. Said you get them addressed. Them life is a mess. Yeah. Yeah. What I feel, you're on your mind. See the ready now. Your eye hit me. Show me a try. You want me struggle all my life. Devil full of lies. But the Bible make my wise. Destiny tell me I can survive. Yet send me right. It's like a de revival. No one them wish. Send me did suicidal. Me no need friend. Car to me that no bite. All the anything me say. Try no one that by nine. I'm so quick. No matter what you say. Setting my entire face with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. We used a lot of powder today, so this is going to ensure that we don't look chalky. And we are finished! Do let me know in the comments if you think that this was beginner friendly and if it was helpful. I really want to make valuable content for you guys. You guys, I absolutely love how this turned out. Today is content day, so we're gonna go out and take some pictures for Instagram. If you haven't followed me on Instagram as yet, please do so. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly tag my new Instagram page in this video as well. I normally only do this in my vlogs. I'm feeling pretty generous, and I really do love how this turned out. It's giving everyday glam. I feel so beautiful, I feel so grown. It's very timeless, very elegant, very much Mrs. Balgobin, if you know what I mean. And I really do hope that this video was clear and easy enough for you to be able to also do it to yourself. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you do not miss whenever I post another video. And until next time, love you, bye. Ooh.